Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the CCleaner supply chain attack. If you're a Windows user, chances are pretty good you might have heard of CCleaner. Uh, this is a Windows utility that was originally made by Perform and has recently been acquired by Avast Security. And this maintenance application allows you to quickly delete temporary files on your computer, uh, quickly remove programs, or even clean a bloated registry. So it's a great application to help you save space on your computer and maybe even wipe out some of your internet history. In any case, according to CCleaner, it's had over 2 billion downloads, meaning it's a pretty popular Windows application. In fact, it was one I used back in my Windows days. In any case, researchers from Cisco's Talos group found that the legitimate version of CCleaner's installer was also spreading malware. Long story short, from August 15th to September 12th, if you downloaded the CCleaner installer from official sources, you also got a piece of malware. Now, I won't go into the malware in detail. If you want all the detail, check out Cisco's blog post on this. But essentially, when you installed this signed copy of CCleaner, it would also install some malware that would establish persistence on your computer, and it would then try to connect to command and control channels using various means. And if it could, it would upload your system's information, and presumably it would allow the attacker to then install more malicious code on your computer at a later date. Now, the good news is, according to the Talos research, some of these command and control mechanisms were flawed. One of the mechanisms they did also use is something called a dynamic domain generation algorithm which is where the malware generates uh, random domain names at certain times every day using a specialized algorithm that the attacker also knows. If the attacker wants to communicate with his malware, he simply registers one of those domains, and then the malware will be able to connect and get its latest updates. Now, the good news about this DGA, or Dynamic Domain Generation Algorithm, is the Talos researchers have cracked it, and they actually registered many of these malicious DGAs, which which means they've effectively sinkholed this malware so that the attacker can't take control of the command and control channel. In any case, this is a pretty huge deal. For an attacker to have injected malicious code into the official CCleaner installer with an intact digital certificate for that actual installer means that this attacker is pretty far within CCleaner's supply chain. They must have access to some of the certificate and development servers for them to have injected their malware so far into this installation process. So it's pretty scary. Now, if you use CCleaner, you're probably wanting to know what to do. Well, the good news is if you use the free version of CCleaner, it doesn't automatically update. That means if you didn't specifically download the installer between August 15th and September 12th, which again was version 5.3.3 of the installer, if you didn't download that, you're probably fine. The latest version, uh, 5.3.4, is apparently clean. Now, if you paid for the full CCleaner, there's a chance you might have the cloud versions or others that automatically upgrade themselves, in which case you may have been affected by this malware. So what should you do? Well, I think you need to just re-image your system from a backup previous to this installation, or at the very least, use antivirus software that can remove malware. The problem is there's a little conflicting information here. I've read at least one article that claims that if you uninstall CCleaner 5.33, it also removes the malware. But on the flip side of things, in the comments section of the the Talos research post, they say just the opposite, that the uninstaller doesn't affect the malware and that you specifically need to restore or remove that malware manually. So if you did install CCleaner 5.33, you probably need to do something about it. Now, whether or not you're affected, the bigger story here really is the supply chain hack. It's pretty significant whether it's a malicious insider or a sophisticated external attacker for them to gain so much access to a legitimate software organization that they can actually booby trap legitimate installers. And this is something we see happening more and more. For instance, you might remember my videos about NotPetya, which was something that appeared to be ransomware but might have been targeted nation state malware. In any case, the latest reports are NotPetya was distributed by the update mechanism for a Ukrainian tax application. The same type of situation where presumably an insider or an attacker infected this uh, software supply chain process and thus can piggyback their malware on things that people trust. So this is a pretty 
scary thing and it's something definitely to look out for. Anyways, pretty interesting story. If you use CCleaner, be sure to check if you installed 5.33 and if you did, you probably need to check your system for malware. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.